depending on where you live, whether you're at the top of a hill, the bottom of a hill, if you've got you know, a tree line around you, whether uh, uh, the, the set is in the basement or on a top floor of the house, there are a lot of factors that can go into what do we ultimately need to be able to receive that signal. Whether it's an indoor, outdoor, whether we can put one in an attic or not, how many sets are we going to, how many TVs are we hooking up uh, to a particular antenna, those are all factors that could determine what would be the best solution. An outdoor antenna on the roof is always going to be better than, than any other type of antenna just because that, that antenna is up higher, it's outdoors, there's you know hopefully no obstructions, it's not going through a wall or anything like that. So that's the best solution. For us uh, to install an antenna, again, depending on the factors, uh, you know, as far as how many sets we're going to and what we have to do to, to get those lines to particular locations in the house, whether the house is already wired for a, a, an older antenna or for cable or, or whatever. Uh, there's, there's different factors, but I would say the average for the cost and material of in, in putting a new antenna system uh, we'll say in an attic space or on a roof, most antenna installs that we're doing here in Des Moines would range from a couple hundred dollars to three, four hundred dollars at the most. My antenna at home uh, is in an attic space and I live in a space where I can get enough signal uh, coming through the, through the, the, uh, the roof, uh, the signal is adequate that uh, all of my lines are ran through the inside of the house not on the outside of the house, which ideally would be the best way. It's, gonna, um, it's not going to weather the line as much. It's not going to weather the antenna being outside in the elements year round, things like that. That's not always practical to do. It's not always possible to do. Uh, so every job is really different.